Okay. So, something big just happened in, happened in the Smash community a little bit ago. By a little bit, I mean a couple hours. So, I know it's already spread, but a member of the community, Huga, has molested another member of the community, Vicky Kitty. Honestly, I've never heard of Vicky Kitty before, but um, I just want to kind of look at the situation and give my personal thoughts on it because this is quite ridiculous. I also just wanted to spread the word because this is, like I said, ridiculous. Um, so, so first thing she posted was a twit longer, um, just addressing the situation, I guess, or just posting up about it. It says, Christian Hugo Medina. I really don't know how to write this because this has never happened to you before, but last night I was molested by Hugo. We let him into our room because we did not want him wandering around Las Vegas drunk and alone. My boyfriend, DJ Jack, let him stay with us. I fell asleep next to my boyfriend on the bed and woke up to Christian in between my boyfriend and I rubbing against me and sliding his hands up my shirt and another down my pants. I'm Cuban and know a good amount of Spanish so I told him to leave me alone and get back on the floor, repeatedly. He's drunk and doesn't get off me, so I say it even louder until someone in my room woke up to see what was going on. That person, Stefan, gets up and tells me immediately to sleep on the other bed where he was and I change beds. Fifteen minutes pass and I still have not fallen back asleep before Hugo slides between the person I was on the bed with and tries to do it once again before Nick Riddle woke up and kicked him out of the room. Again, this has never happened to me and I was frightened, so after they kicked him out, I started to break down in tears. Did my friend actually attempt doing this to me? Why wouldn't he leave me alone? What if I was alone? We filed a police report. This man was picked up by VG Boot Camp and currently sponsored. And actually, I was reading and it said that he got kicked from VG Boot Camp because, I mean, he just got picked up. I don't know if I wanted to make this post, but everyone felt that... Everyone felt I needed to only to prevent future incidents like this from ever happening again. Please be careful with anyone, regardless of friend or acquaintance. Then after that, um, just uh, an hour later after the post, she posted another one called Solution. Another tweet longer. After talking to many people, I want to prioritize my dream, hobby, and potential career above this situation. I filed a report with the hotel security and was given the option to take it even further. My goal within the Smash community is to grow not only as a competitor, but as a professional caster as well. I did not, this want, I did not want this situation to dwell above my head for a longer period of time. I made a tweet about the situation to spread awareness. I do not want this to happen to anyone else. The judgment of the community will take its turn with the situation and hopefully bring more awareness to tournament safety. If I go through with further legal action, I will never be allowed to go out of state tournament again. I will, I will, she, okay, that's crazy. Coming from a Hispanic family, they will never let me travel out of fear for my safety and I do not want to bring them anywhere. Thank you to everyone sending me your support, I appreciate it so much more than you can imagine. Again, I am still trying to recollect my thoughts, reco recollect my thoughts and proper emotions about the situation, but I believe I will be fine. Thanks to the support from the community. Okay. So, first things first. I think that this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I've, I've not in the super, super competitive Smash 4 community, but I've been into it for the past year and a half or so. So I'm, I kind of know a little bit about everyone in the community, and Huga, for one, I actually thought he was pretty cool. I mean, watched him play his matches, especially as a Toon Link main. I main Toon Link in Brawl. I was thinking about picking him up in Smash 4, and it's kind of crazy. As soon as I start getting into it, into Toon Link, Huga comes out and does this. Now, Hugo's claim that he was drunk when it happened, and that's his excuse as to what happened, and for him to say that, I mean, yeah, he was drunk, and I'm not backing him up in any way, shape, or form. Yes, he was drunk, but being drunk 
is no excuse for what you have done because yes when you're drunk you do some things that you don't do you lose your inhibitions but you don't lose complete control of your body and the thing that really gets me is even though he said he was drunk is that she says that he crawled in between him and her her and her boyfriend which seems a little bit sketchy because i'm surprised if both of them didn't wake up and on top of that she said that she woke up she woke up um and started telling him to get off until someone else in the room woke up Stefan. I don't know if Stefan is DJ Jack, but from the way the context, the way she set up the paragraph, it doesn't seem like it is. So that's kind of a little sketchy, but that's besides the point. The thing that gets me is that when he said he was drunk and he didn't know what he was doing, da 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 da, he's, it says that he, 15 minutes later, he got up and went back to harass her again, which means, which th leads me to believe that he was doing this on purpose not because he was drunk but because he figured he could use being drunk at, drunken as a scapegoat now, i'm not saying that he can't i mean yes he can but honestly he sounds foolish just saying that he's drunk and that's his only excuse because being drunk is never the answer like take this for example if you're direct, driving down the street drunken and you kill someone you can't say i was drunk and just pray that everything goes okay because that's not how it works I. It's honestly an upsetting thing, and I'm going to search for the tweet that he made showing how he was drunk or whatever, because I know he posted something. I never come back to the USA, so sorry. It is fault for a drink a lot and accept my responsibilities. Um, okay, so this is what he posted. First of all, I want to make a public apology regarding what happened with Vic Vicky. I don't remember anything due being drunk, due to being drunk, but that's not a valid excuse of what I did. I'm going to take full responsibility of what happens, no matter if that means I'm not going to be able to come back to the USA or not. Second, I'm also going to work on my drinking behavior, so in the future these events don't happen again. We are all human, we all make mistakes, and it, is, and it only takes one bad action to ruin everything or anything. I'm going to work hard to show that to show people that he I am not that type of guy and in the meantime I'm going to accept the consequences of my actions. Nick Jack Vicky, I would I would see you. Um and that's the end of it. I don't know if he posted anything else. I'm going to look in his photos real quick, but it doesn't seem like he posted anything else. Oh, never mind. I want to Nick Jack Vicky, I would see you I would see you whenever you want so you can decide what is going to happen to me. Whatever you decide, I'm going to accept it. For last, sorry to my friends and fans, I let you down and that makes me feel really bad. So he even admitted that yes he was drunk, but he's going to man up, which honestly he should do because saying you're drunk isn't any excuse at this point. So let's try to break I'm gonna try to break this down real quick because like I said I want to analyze the situation to see if I can find any plot holes or anything. Okay, so first off she said she was molested by Hyuka. He was led into the room because he was wandering around Vegas drunk and alone. He the only thing that the first part that gets me is that he's he was molesting her in between her and her boyfriend, which I'm actually really curious about how that he didn't wake up but the stuff fun person did but if they are the same person then someone let me know because I'm just clearly clueless I've never I I'm sorry I didn't know DJ Jack's real name is Stefan um let's see so after 15 minutes past I have still not fallen back asleep before Hugo slides in between the person I was on the bed with and tries to do it again so he slid in between her and another person again and Nick Riddle woke up and kicked him out. So, Nick Riddle, thanks for kicking him out, not just telling him to move. I'm not saying that Stefan did something wrong, but Hyuga needed to leave. Let's see, did my friend actually attempt doing this to me? Why wouldn't he leave me alone? What if I was alone? What if you were alone? That's a very good question because just looking at Hyuga, we all know Hyuga is not a small guy. Hyuga is a person who looks like he can hold his own. And if he was alone, if she was alone with Hyuga, 
there's a good chance that she may or may not it may have may, may have gone far farther I'm not calling Hugo a rapist or anything but it's very possible that something bad could have happened let's just leave it at that this man was just picked up by VG bootcamp I already went over that he's not on the team anymore um, I don't I didn't know if I wanted to make this post but everyone felt I needed to only to prevent future incidents like this from happening ever again please be careful with anyone regardless of her acquaintance now this is the thing that gets me because when people go to Twitter and they make allegations like this they have to be able to back it up now technically Kitty has not provided any evidence but just from witnesses we can tell that something has happened now everything has just been allegations so far though I haven't seen there there has not been a shred of um, evidence but Hugo has admitted to it now there's more than one side of every story maybe he didn't do it twice maybe he didn't even grab her at all maybe it's just a stunt who knows but it doesn't sound like that but I'm just stating the possibilities so before you so get out the comment section before you start attacking me for that but that's that's one thing I I'm always against going to Twitter for rape allegations or anything like that because it's not the first time and it won't be the last time because even small things like what happened with Jean Paramingo Giancarlo Paramingo not trying to throw shots or throw shade at him but you know he was accused of rape at one point and he's a very avid person in the Smash community uh, now we know that that's not the case obviously but I'm just saying it's not the first time and it won't be the last time I'm willing to bet also I just have to say to to Kitty just you know everyone has your support even um we wish you luck on what you want to do with your career or whatever but this is I think that you did the right thing by posting this on Twitter because we don't want this to happen and yeah so now to the solution she she did file a report with her social security um only thing is is she doesn't not want to take it further she doesn't want to take um, any further legal action because she says she won't be allowed to go to another out-of-state tournament again um, and then she says coming from a Hispanic family they will never let me travel out of fear for my safety and I do not want them want to bring them any worry so this is kind of two separate things but I see what she's saying I think she's saying that if she was to take it any further then her family would be scared for her and they wouldn't let her travel too far away because of things that could happen now I must say that things happen all the time you can't let yourself be worked up over one sort of thing and honestly I find it pretty not senseless that you wouldn't take this farther because I'm sure that people are going to support Hugo I'm sure people are going to support you but at the same time you have to do what you have to do to make sure that this doesn't happen because when actions aren't taken things continue to happen that's the best way I can put it I mean and this is a fact this happens with all sorts of harassment not just sexual harassment but harassment in general or even just things like D3 uh, murder things like that just based on the community and as a gaming com community especially a smash um, the smash community that's worked hard to earn their place in the gaming community and when things like this happen it just shows how one thing can cause a community um, at the top to drop especially you know with the whole Evo situation already it just doesn't have a good look to it but thank you to everyone for sending me support I really appreciate it so much more than you can imagine again I'm still trying to recollect my thoughts and proper emotions about the situation but I believe I will be fine thanks to the support from the community like I said you have my support and also I don't know if you'll be watching this Hugo but honestly you have no place in the community anymore I don't I can't say that I don't like you because I don't know you to be honest but this this is just ridiculous especially since you've admitted to it already I can't that it, it's just I, I have no words it's it's ridiculous and I wish you luck in whatever you're gonna do but you're no longer welcome in our community find another community maybe 
maybe down the line you'll be forgiven and people will start accepting you back but for right now you're you just I don't I don't know what else to say it's, it's ridiculous so I know that a lot of uh, Twitter people have taken taken to posting I know especially people I know like eSam has expressed his opinion very vaguely I'm not gonna go looking for their tweets or anything like that that's just ridiculous but I know eSam has ally has you know especially um, milk tea she has her own group I follow milk tea because I think it's pretty cool she's a good gamer um, Smash Sisters, I believe. I think that's what it's called. I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but she also has something to say. And it's just sad. It's sad that this happens, but, you know, you have to deal with these things in our society, and it is what it is. So, anyway, thanks for watching this video. I just thought I'd make it because this is, like I said, quite ridiculous and I know I'm just a young person with a lot to express on their mind but it is a serious topic regardless so yeah I hope things work out for the better once again Vicky Katie wish you luck in everything that you do Huga I have no words this is ridiculous and just yeah thanks thank you guys for watching I don't know if this will be on Twitter, but everyone on Twitter, thank, um, make sure you show support for her, retweet this video, and yeah, thanks for watching.